First Vice President, His Excellency Gerald Abandengai, is leading a high-level delegation of transitional government of national unity to Nairobi, Kenya, for a meeting with His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya. The objective of this mission is to consult the Kenyan leadership on the resolution of United Nations Security Council 2304, which was passed recently. As you know, this resolution is a multi-stakeholder resolution, and there's a need to consult with the region, friends of South Sudan, and all the concerned parties. As you know, Kenya is one of the historical friends of this country, dated back to our days before the independence. Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, and many other nations in Africa and in the world have stood with the people of South Sudan during the difficult days for us to be free people. We strongly believe the goodwill and the commitment shown by those countries towards the suffering of the people of South Sudan before independence is still there. And therefore, we have a strong hope and great hope that these countries will still and shall continue to stand with the people of South Sudan, to help South Sudan restore, restore stability and peace. We are also going to the first vice president who is going to brief the Kenyan leadership on the progress of the implementation of the peace agreement. This is important. As we are all aware, the peace agreement is going on well, though there are challenges. For people, people of South Sudan, we are urging them to be strong at this time of trials and difficulty. That through dialogue and non-violence, we'll be able to solve our problems. I'm therefore calling upon all those who are South Sudanese who are carrying arms wherever they are, that the weapon you are carrying, you have no future in it. Wherever you are in the bush, your child, your younger brother has no future in that gun. The future of your child and my child and children of our children and of this country is in dialogue, is in forgiveness, is in constructive engagement. We as government, transitional government of national unity are going to undertake this process of constructive engagement, fruitful one, with the region, with the world, for the betterment of the people of South Sudan. We are part of IGAD, we are part of African Union, and we shall continue to engage where and when possible with all the countries, with all the people who are concerned, with our partners in the region and the world for the betterment of this country and the people of South Sudan. But as you know, there have been concern, of course, from the people of South Sudan. We represent these people about this resolution. Yes, we know there are challenges facing the agreement, but we don't believe that uh, military intervention is the best way of solving them. We are ready, we are open, we are flexible as a government to dialogue with the region, with the international community. And as you know, cooperation, it's a two-way traffic. 
So as much as the world and the region would like us to cooperate with them, we would also like them to cooperate with South Sudan.